so you guys asked for it and here it is. I'm going to teach you how to paint an Argyle design on your walls or wall, whichever you choose. Um, unfortunately, I got a little engrossed in this project. I painted all of the walls, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use a canvas as my wall and walk you through step by step on what to do. Uh, lucky for you, I made a ton of mistakes. So hopefully I can help you not make those mistakes and also I have a few pointers and tricks that will hopefully speed your process along. I hope you find this video helpful and I hope you enjoy this project as much as I did. Okay, so let's talk about the tools that you're going to need. Um, first and foremost, I, I recommend getting small rollers approximately this size. Uh, you're going to want three separate trays. Get a few extra. If paint dries, you might need them. Uh, also, painter's tape. I recommend getting the blue painter's tape with the orange labeling on it uh, and the wider one, not the thin one. And you'll see why as I proceed to show you guys throughout the video. Um, scissors. Chalk, definitely uh, get chalk. You're not gonna be able to get chalk from Lowe's or Home Depot, but you can go to an Office Max or Staples and find it. Uh, the reason that I am gonna tell you to use chalk is because initially I used a pencil and trying to go back and erase on, on new paint, pencil mark, it's not the cleanest thing, it's very time consuming, and you end up having to touch up with paint anyway. Whereas the chalk will just wipe away after your paint dries. Um, a measuring tape. I used a frame to make my initial diamond just because I thought it was a lot easier and a lot less time consuming than trying to measure out all the points and making diamonds from scratch and also it makes them look a lot more uniform. So I definitely recommend using either a frame, a piece of tile, pretty much anything that has a little bit of depth and has smooth edges so that you get straight lines and that is the shape of the diamond that you want because you don't have to make your diamonds this size. You can make them as big or as small as you'd like. Also, as I continue to draw my lines, I went to Home Depot and for $6 I picked up this level and basically I used this around uh, the shorter corners and like where my outlets and stuff are because I can't get a big object in there and I wanna make sure that my lines are straight and they're even and that they're all connecting in a uniform way and this really helped me do that. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to paint our base color on our wall. Now the reason that we do this is to actually save time on taping. Rather than have to tape three separate diamonds on the wall, you're actually only going to have to paint two diamonds, two different colors, because our base color will already be there. Okay, so I decided to lay my canvas down just because it was giving me a hard time propped up against the wall. Uh, obviously your wall isn't going to move so your lines are going to be relatively straight. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish marking this and you're going to do the same exact thing on your wall. Basically you're going to paint all three of those diamonds the same color. I'm going to use blue. The, the three next to that will all be brown and then tan and you follow a pattern. I recommend before you start painting, uh, marking what colors they're gonna be. Once again, this chalk, it, it wipes right away. So sometimes you are in the middle of painting, things get jumbled, you paint the wrong color, it's a hassle. Now you have to decide, do you wanna take the outside of all your lines or do you wanna take all the way up to the inside of your line? It doesn't really matter which one you choose, it just matters that you do that on all sides because if you do one under and one over, your diamonds aren't going to be even. Now the trick when you are rolling any of your colors is after you dip your roller in paint, you want to get some of that excess paint off in the center. You don't want to go on top of your paint with a dripping wet roller because then you're going to get drip marks. So once you have a lot of that excess paint off, you're going to very lightly just go around. I like to go in the direction of my, away from my teeth. It's kind of creating a better seal. So then you're going to go ahead and let that dry for a couple minutes, not very long. And then you're going to do the second coat. While your paint is still wet, you're going to go ahead and 
peel that tape back. And you're gonna peel the tape in the direction that you put it on. Don't peel it all off at once. One thing to pay attention to is just that like when you're running your tape line, make sure the tape line looks like it's aligned with what's already painted. That's a good tool just to make sure that you're staying even. After you're finished painting your second set of diamonds, obviously I'm using brown, I'm gonna go back to the first diamond that I painted and paint my second coat. Uh, remember, with this tape, it's important that you're peeling the tape off while the paint is still wet. Otherwise, you're gonna start peeling, the tape is gonna pull away your paint, it's gonna be rigid, you're gonna get frustrated, you're gonna throw a whole gallon of paint on the wall. I have a couple of bleed marks, mostly because this is canvas, but that will happen to you when you first start doing this. I'm gonna just go ahead and show you a quick, easy way to fix that. Honestly, I would paint your entire wall, all of your walls for that matter, and then go back and, and fix them afterwards because when you step away from your wall, you're gonna realize that some of them aren't even noticeable. And the one that, ones that are, you're just gonna take your tape, you're gonna line it up to the existing line where that little bleed mark is. See, I have my little bleed there. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take my base color. And I'm just gonna roll it over that little bleed spot. I'm gonna take my tape right off. Gone, super easy. We're gonna start our dashes. Now the way that you're gonna do that is you're gonna go back to the first diamond that you drew on the wall, and you're gonna measure your diamond from end to end. When you draw your line for these dashes, it's important to remember that if you tape all of the dashes that are going this way, if you tape them underneath your paint line, when you go the opposite way, you're gonna paint them over top of your paint line. The important thing with this is make sure that you're using the smooth edges. Don't use the size that you cut because you're gonna cut all uneven. So with this smooth edge, decide where you want the top of your first dash to be and place your tape. And you're gonna place your tape completely aligned with the tape that's already existing. You're not gonna do it straight. You're gonna do it kind of on a vertical tilt. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take another tape, piece of tape and I'm just gonna tape it up against this one. Doesn't matter how straight or crooked it is. Basically, that's so that you can roll in the same direction as the lines. Because I learned the hard way, when you roll across, it bleeds tremendously. So this is just gonna protect our already painted wall from getting any paint from the dash on. With this, there really isn't any room to remove excess paint. So I recommend actually getting an extra white tray and rolling your dip roller on the empty tray to kind of try and get some of that excess off. And then start rolling in one direction. This is pretty much self-explanatory. It's the same as with the diamonds. You're gonna do one to two sections at a time. You're gonna alternate back and forth for a second coat and you're gonna peel your tape off when it's dry peeling in the direction. Do not try and peel this tape sideways. You will be sorry. And when you do your dashes, so just like I did with this, I measured my center. You're gonna to go to the next one, measure your center, and you're gonna tape all of your lines only in one direction, paint those dashes on, and then you're gonna do the same exact thing, starting back in the middle, and do your other diagonals. So then also with this, because we have so many different Tape, just try and pull it at the same rate of speed as well. I hope you guys found this video extremely helpful. And if there's anything else that you guys want to see, suggestions on what you'd like me to show you, I'd be more than happy to tackle the project ahead of time and give you any pointers that I find along the way. Um, look me up on Twitter, jloveyourlife with a U R, and let me know what you guys want to see. Otherwise, I'll be posting videos relatively shortly uh, on how to install a chair rail. That's why I painted my wall halfway up the wall. Um, have a great day guys and I hope you enjoyed. Mwah.